All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today I am back with another top 10 video, as you can see from the title, but this time I wanted to bring you something that I've been really thinking about for quite some time. I haven't talked about this fragrance house on the on the channel for a bit simply because I recorded some videos for these fragrance houses and they disappeared somehow <laughs> so I figured this will be a good way to introduce you to some now if you're familiar with this brand and the brand I'm talking to you guys about today is Parfums Vintage then you understand that this one is a clone house and in my personal opinion they do some quality stuff now before you start typing this is not a sponsored video this is just something that I felt like should be a good video all right so there you have it man i bring you the top 10 parfum vintage fragrances within my collection in my personal opinion so the first fragrance i wanted to talk to you guys and girls out there about today comes from obviously parfums vintage but this is the one that really started it for me which was the introduction to the house and that's none other than parfum vintage pineapple vintage intense now, if you're not familiar with the line, Pineapple Vintage Intense was their number one take, in my personal opinion, on Creed's Aventus. Now, they actually do a lot of stuff surrounded around Creed Aventus, different takes on it, different batch variations, and also, you know, they play around with a few different ingredients. But this is one that I've recommended on numerous occasions. And in today's world, I still think that Pineapple Vintage Intense is a solid alternative to uh, Creed Aventus. Now, there's a ton of different different fragrances out there some that they offer some that are offered by other companies but this is one that I always always uh, tell people they should check out um, if they have the ability to do so so first fragrance up pineapple vintage intense from Parfums vintage the next fragrance I wanted to talk to you guys about today has agarwood oud we have orange in this one and this is one that I actually reached out and said hey if you're thinking about sending me something send me this one because they sent me some samples of it and I really really enjoyed it the original fragrance of this one is like aqua de palma um intensia oud or something of that nature all I know is that I really really like this fragrance when I smelled it all right um I got this one in a 50 ml bottle and I really enjoy this fragrance I picked this one up this is one of the ones that was lost in terms of the footage I recorded a video on this one because I thought it was that dope I enjoy it but um I don't have that too so what I wanted to do is bring you this for this just to let you know that i think this is a dope fragrance I'm, again i'm not familiar with the original smells like but if it smells anything like this one then i say go ahead and grab it all right um, for those of you who have smelled that fragrance go ahead and comment down below and let me know your personal thoughts and opinions on this one for me this one is um a man's scent all right when i think about leather based fragrances they can go one of two ways in my personal opinion they can go um super old right or they could go wearable and i think that this one falls in the wear side of things where I think if you were a, a millennial rocking a fragrance that's going to be leather based and has some quality to it this is one that you can definitely score with with the oud in this fragrance this one is probably thought to be like a darker fragrance but I think with some of those um, more bright notes like the bergamot in this one it really livens this fragrance up this one is definitely a masculine scent so if you're a manly man get this one in your collection ASAP one of the things that I like about Parfum Vintage is that aside from them being a clone house, they just, they just don't try to grab any old fragrance to clone. What are they doing for the most part is really trying to tie it back to a lost gem, right? So in this case of this fragrance here, they're really trying to recapture a lost batch, a 2014 batch of green Irish tweed. The fragrance that I'm talking to you guys about today is called Emerald Owl. And as I said, this one is a recreation of a 2014 batch of green Irish tweed. In my personal opinion, this one starts off a bit aquatic, a little bit different than what you could come to expect from green Irish tweed uh, batches today. But I think that this one is a dope batch nonetheless this one is fresh it's salty slightly aquatic and obviously with a name like green irish tweed there is some greenness to this one as well and my personal opinion this one is a bit linear um and i think they were looking to really do that as well there's not much change from the top of this one to the dry down but in my personal opinion it is a solid smelling fragrance and for the price points 
Again, this is one of the ones that you might want to grab. I think this one starts off at $65 for a 50 ml, and I think it's like 105 or 110 for 100 ml. Um, they also sell samples, so go ahead and try this one out if you haven't already checked this thing out. But Emerald Out from uh, Pop Foods Vintage. Speaking of fragrances that have been lost and or discontinued, I really believe that Paul from Vintage captured the essence of this next fragrance. The fragrance I'm referencing is Intrigo Devastante Intense, which is a recreation of By Man by Dolce & Gabbana. Listen, that fragrance was one of my most favorite fragrances of all times but it has been discontinued and this is what i am left with and i personally believe they have done a great job with this fragrance this one is woody it's spicy it's everything that i think you need in a fragrance in itself i'm not really sure why it was discontinued but this one is a gem this one has been talked about on the channel numerous times when it comes to lists videos um, i actually included this in a video that like started me in fragrance and obviously it wasn't this one it was the bob man but um nonetheless it had to take its spot because this one is such a dope fragrance this one has leather notes it's earthy it's kind of sweet we have the this labinum feel with it as well I really enjoy it. One that I will always have in my collection as long as they have this one um, readily available for me to pick up or if the original one comes back, which I doubt. So super dope fragrance from the house if you ask me, which is why it's on the list today. Next up, we have another fragrance that is uh, reproduced from the house of Creed and this one is Rush of Unicorns. Now I really don't get the name of this one, but this one is a recreation on Creed's Millicene Imperial, which in my opinion, opinion is a top notch scent in this fragrance you have lemon you have sea salt you have mandarin all of those really great notes that you've come to expect in a creed fragrance but bottled in this bottle here from the house of Parfums vintage to me this one is a really top notch um elegant scent that can be worn pretty much anywhere that you decide to wear it. Um, I think this one is a good fragrance to wear in the office if you're going out and about casual. If, if you need to be suited and booted, this is a great one that you can wear. Now, um, they, I think, market this one for both men and women. Traditionally, I think in my personal opinion, or just in my experience, I really smell Millicene Imperial on men. I haven't really come across a woman to, to wear Millicene Imperial that I've personally found, but I think that this is a dope fragrance. Um, to each its own, wear what you like. Some people believe that fragrance has no gender. If that's what you feel, then feel that way and I'll rock it with confidence because this one is a solid fragrance. Now, speaking of Rush of Unicorns, they also have another one, which is Siage of Unicorns. But uh, in most cases, I tell people to go ahead and stop and start with Rush of Unicorns. Another one of the things I like about Parfum Vintage is that they just don't focus on, you know, those high quality fragrances. When I speak of high quality fragrances, I'm talking about niche fragrances like, you know, Creeds and things of that nature. Again, they really focus on trying to bring back, you know, those missed batches the things that you guys and girls out there really loved and this one is no different this one is aqua intense this one is a play on paco Rabanne's uh 2016 release of invictus aqua now invictus aqua has been discontinued and brought back in a different capacity and the general consensus for most people out there is that the 2018 um version of invictus aqua does not touch the 2016 batch so this is a perfect place for Popping vintage to come in all right so this one has high compliment factor in my personal opinion this is one that you can wear day to day casually and obviously with the aquatic type of name and where this one was made to fit being invictus really made for those athletic champions out there this one is definitely one that you can wear to the gym now with this one being a discontinued scent and a recreation of that one and a bit more expensive than what you would traditionally wear to the gym um if you were doing like a, a, a nautica or something like like that this one is a bit more expensive when compared to something like that but relatively inexpensive in the grand scheme of fragrances i think that this one is a solid solid release again it has high compliment factor and it has a lot of those things that you would um, come to expect in a batch of 2016 um, invictus aqua 
Now they have just the Aqua, which is just the regular 2016, but this one is a bit more amped up and a bit more bold than the 2016 um, Invictus Aqua. And I think that Aqua by Parfum Vintage is a solid fragrance, hence why it's on my list of top 10. The next one has juniper berry, it has musk, it has vanilla, has some smokiness to this thing as well, and this one is sublime musk. Now this one is a recreation or their take on Chanel Bois de Dijon? Bois de Dijon? Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Um, solid, solid fragrance in my personal opinion. This one is a bit smoky, a bit powdery, and it really comes off as a solid all-around fragrance. For you Dior Ohm lovers out there, this one also has some light hints of iris, but to me this one is a sophisticated yet subtle scent that you can wear in a number of occasions, and on a number of occasions if you will, and again, I think they really did a great job with this fragrance, which is why it's on the list today. Now this one is obviously a 100 ml bottle. Um, I had this one in the collection for a bit now, and I think it's dope. I actually, I think I wore this one to bed last night. Um, solid fragrance I have in the collection. I'm happy to have it, and one of the ones that I personally think you should get your nose on. This next fragrance is one that I've recommended on a number of occasions to people in DMs and on comments, etc. This one comes from obviously Parfum Vintage again, but this one is Pineapple Vintage line, but this one is Vanilla Intense. Think Parfum Vintage, Pineapple Vintage Intense with vanilla infused within it. That's what you get with this fragrance here, and I really, really like the take on that. Now, they have some different takes on Parfum Vintage um, Intense, um, but you have like King, which is gonna be a bit more like subtle, um, comparable to what you would find in something like um, an older uh, Aventus batch, but I really like how Intense was really lined up with Vanilla Intense. Your usual suspects come in this one. You have apple, pineapple, juniper berry, um, some array of berries in this one. And again, that vanilla just brings it with this je ne sais quoi. I don't really know what, what it is about the vanilla that takes this one to a different level for me, but it's one that I enjoy, one that I recommend. And uh, obviously, you can see this thing is getting some wear. Now we are down to the final two fragrances and my top 10 fragrances from Parfum Vintage. And this one is a recreation of one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Creed. And this one is Silver Mountain Water, but this one is Alpine Winds. Now I actually recommended um, Silver Mountain Water to someone yesterday. They hit the store, grabbed it, loved it, purchased it um but this is one that you can grab if you know silver mountain water is a bit out of your price range this one is a lot more cost effective and in my personal opinion it's probably the best recreation of silver mountain water that i've come across now there's a ton of different um recreations of silver mountain water out there but they just don't hit it just like this one does or oh, that was weird i don't think they hit it on the nail on the head, what am I saying? I don't think they hit the nail on the head as much as this one did here. That was a really uh, <laughs> weird way of going about that, but I think that this one is solid. Now they do have an Alpine Winds, obviously, and an Alpine Winds Intense. My personal um, preference is going to be Alpine Winds. This one is, is black current. You have everything that you need. It still has that inky metallic note that you can feel. It's not as fresh as Silver Mountain Water in my personal opinion, but it's close enough, especially for the difference in price. So if you're looking to pick up one like Silver Mountain Water and you really don't wanna spend that price point for it, then check this one out. And then last up, we have a fragrance that uh, is another one that is marketed as unisex, but it's long lasting, it's woody, and another recreation of one of the various recreations of Aventus, and this one is Emperor Extract. Now listen, I think they have it listed as being recreated of Pineapple Vintage Intense, but we all know what that one is based on. So for you know the sake of this video, we're gonna say this one is another recreation of Aventus. Now my personal opinion, this one edged out Pineapple Vintage Intense as the number one player for um, a Ventus clone, if you were looking for that, especially from this house. Um, I think you go this one, and then you go Pineapple Vintage Intense. This one is a bit more expensive, but 
um, I think that this one is a solid fragrance and obviously it's a little bit cheaper um, I guess a lot cheaper than what you would pick up from Aventus in itself. This one actually launched in 2018, I believe, but this one, I think more towards the end of 2018, this one came out. Solid fragrance from the house. I've talked about this one on multiple occasions. I think I actually have a review or an unboxing or something of that nature on this fragrance. If I do, I'll leave a link and list it down below. If I forget, then just go ahead and comment and I'll try to go ahead and post that. But um, solid fragrance from the house. I think these 10 should be fragrances that you should start with if you're looking to dive into the house. Now you can go through and get samples. You can go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and make a big splash in and blah, blah. Choice is yours, um, but I think that these are fragrances that you should go ahead and start with. I enjoy these fragrances. Again, I think these are clones done right in the case that you're picking up fragrances that you really can't pick up anymore or batch variations that you can't pick up. And I think that's a sweet spot for um, clone fragrances in my personal opinion. There you have it, man. Quality fragrances from the house of Parfums Vintage. As always, I'm your boy. Big B, B, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. And you already know what to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.